Weather Channel hosts die and crash while live streaming Twister. For those who chase tornadoes for a living or just an adrenaline rush, there's always a chance they might not make it home. This past week, three men died going after a storm in Texas, but surprisingly, it wasn't a tornado that got him in the end. On March 28th in Dickens County, Weather Channel presenters Kelly Williamson and Randy Yarnell were tracking a potential tornado in a black suburban. Meanwhile, young storm chaser Corbin Lee Yeager was heading toward the same site from another direction in his Jeep. As both vehicles approached an intersection, Williamson's eyes were fixated on the storm, and he blew through a stop sign, a fatal mistake. At the time of the crash, Williamson was not wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from the SUV. All three men died on impact. Veteran storm chasers of the hit show Storm Wranglers, Williamson and Yarnell were live streaming their pursuit of the storm for almost two and a half hours. Their video froze just seconds before the crash. The video was uploaded to Williamson's YouTube channel not long after. 57-year-old Kelly Williamson and 55-year-old Randy Yarnell are mourned by their Weather Channel colleagues. 25-year-old Corbin Lee Yeager was certified by the National Weather Service as a storm spotter. Though their shared fascination of twisters led to this tragic heap of twisted metal, it's clear each of the men died chasing after what they loved. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. By nature, tornadoes tend to do some serious damage. Multiple tornadoes strike Oklahoma, leaving one person dead. At least three tornadoes hit Oklahoma and Arkansas during a supercell thunderstorm on Wednesday. Multiple tornadoes were seen moving through the Tulsa suburb of Sand Springs Moore near Oklahoma City and Westport in Oklahoma, as well as in Arkansas on Wednesday, leaving one person killed and several injured. Tornadoes often develop from supercell thunderstorms. Supercells are formed when wind shear sets air spinning and the updraft tips the spinning air upright. The updraft then starts rotating, forming mesocyclones within the supercell. The rising air then expands and spreads, forming an anvil cloud. Convergence of warm air in the updraft and cooler air from the downdraft causes a rotating wall cloud to form as the mesocyclone lowers below the cloud base. An area of low pressure at the surface then pulls the mesocyclone down, forming a funnel cloud. A tornado is born when the funnel touches the ground. Multiple buildings were damaged and numerous cars and trucks were overturned by the tornadoes. Rain, lightning and winds were hampering rescue efforts. Tornado wrecks havoc in Mexico border city. The first tornado to hit a Mexican border city in more than a century struck on Monday morning, killing at least 13 people. A tornado struck the Mexican border city of Ciudad Acuna at 6.40 on Monday morning. A government official told the BBC that an area of about seven blocks was affected by the tornado, causing devastating damage that left 230 people hospitalized, 10 adults and three children dead, as well as around 750 properties in ruins. In the wake of the tornado, eight shelters have been set up in the city. Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto was set to visit the city on Monday evening in order to survey the damage. Tornado rips through Texas drilling rig, causing serious injuries. A number of injuries have been reported after a tornado hit a natural gas drilling rig in northeastern Texas. The National Weather Service issued a severe storm and tornado warning for the Texas Panhandle on Wednesday evening. At around 5.20 p.m. local time, the tornado hit a natural gas drilling rig near the town of Canadian in Texas's Hemphill County. As the tornado ripped through the drilling rig, the multi-purpose dog houses adjacent to the rig floor suffered severe damage. The Hemphill County Sheriff's Office told Reuters that two of the rig's workers suffered minor injuries, while a third suffered an impalement to the abdomen. The tornado hit northern Texas as other parts of the state have been subject to extreme rainfall and flooding. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Watch as this tornado lifts a roof clean off of a high school. You see that roof flying through the air? That came from a high school where at least 100 people were gathered for an award ceremony the moment the tornado hit this past Sunday. First time God knows how many years the town's just been hit. There goes the school! There goes the school! That's not Casey's, that's the school! You can hear the ballsy man behind the camera yeah, refusing right to take shelter school. so he can film the whole thing. I know it is. Get in your basement. It's over there, so I'm fine right here. 
Miraculously, no one inside Southern Calhoun High School of Lake City was injured. But the small town was still without power on Monday morning, thanks to the vicious twister.